Severe tropical cyclone Megan is making landfall in the Gulf of Carpentaria. For more, I'm joined by our meteorologist, Rob Sharp. What impacts are we seeing, Rob, and what can we expect over coming hours? Yeah, well, all you'd expect from a severe tropical cyclone. So it's a very dangerous system producing flooding rainfall. Wild winds up to 200 kilometres an hour are a threat. And we've got a lot of rainfall and also the potential for a storm tide at the moment as well. So the system itself is moving over the Perro Islands as well at the moment. So right near the tips of my finger. Unfortunately, we don't have very good radar coverage in this area. The closest radar is out at Mornington Island. So you can see the wet weather the streaming in but the observations do help us at the weather stations. Centre Island has gusted to 132 kilometres an hour on the weaker side of the system so I'm sure gusts have been much stronger on the other side as the tropical cyclone is making landfall at the moment and the rain turtles 200 for Centre Island uh, but areas just a little ways further east of there I'm sure would be closer to 300 millimetres as th that system has brought in torrential rainfall. A warning still exists from Port Roper inland to Borroloola and MacArthur River Mine and out toward Mornington Island as well. Uh, so the, the current, the coming hours are probably the most dangerous for this system as it makes landfall uh, it's at its strongest strength right now and it's also producing that da dangerous storm tide as well. But as we move into tomorrow, the system will start making a bit more of a westerly track through the middle of the Northern Territory, taking the heavy rain with it out towards Tennant Creek and surrounds. And so uh, many roads are once again becoming impassable across the Northern Territory as this makes further inroads. And Rob, severe storms crawling across New South Wales too at the moment. Yeah, that's right. So Tamworth has seen its heaviest rain in more than a year. It's had uh, 60 millimetres since 9 o'clock and it had 30 millimetres before 9 o'clock, causing some flash flooding, as you can see here. Uh, the storm's very slow moving around the Tamworth area. There's a few other showers and storms elsewhere in the state and plenty of showers streaming onto the south coast as well. And so through today, we may see a little bit more wet weather into southeast Queensland. Sydney and Newcastle could see some more showers, but they're more likely tonight. Uh, so wet up and down the east coast after Cairns was drenched overnight. The focus is now just a ways south of Cairns as it stays hot in the middle, stormy in the gold fields, sunny for the west coast, and it's warm right across the south today. Rob, thanks for the update. We'll stay in touch, particularly about uh, that cyclone.